Oh, um, I'm so flustered. What's my line again? I don't know. Something about tainting minds, I guess. Well, you're in luck, because that is exactly what's going to be happening right now. Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter and a sentence together, mass hysteria. What is wrong with people? I, it's not a rhetorical question. Please answer me. Comment section below. Thank you. Just look at the cover. Boldly stating above all else, the power of Christ impales you. There's so many things to theologically and logically wrong with that statement. Where do I begin? First off, we find Jesus what? Again. I'm sorry, I should probably put the dull sword down before I hurt myself. If you look a little closer, you'll also see him a crouching in a judo stance. I'm sorry, when has judo ever successfully bested any creatures of the night? Ever. Ever. Second. Do I need a second? Do I really need? Are you not fully invested in my bewilderment right now? He sees you. He hears you. Gracious. He has seen and heard your sins. Lord, your endless, but shameless but sins. Are you there, God? That's all Why don't you answer and he me? And coming back. Why don't you he give is me here. a sign? Yeah, even today. Tell me why I'm here. here. How about you add a little bit of voice to go with your treble there, Mr. Audio mixer. One at a time, people. The audience is not God and cannot hear all of your pleas at once. And this is why you don't let Satan write the script. <gasps> oh, ye who are gathered here in the darkness, do you imagine that you are here to witness naught but an hour of flickering fictions? Do you imagine that your lives are not in jeopardy at this very moment? I'm in my room with the lights on. I just wanted to see a movie. If you would see the story that is about to unfold, be warned. Okay, if this is more World War III propaganda, I'm gonna stop you right there. This doesn't feel like acting. I feel this man is legitimately threatening me, or at least the cameraman. C can I back out? Like, review something else? Is that an option for me at this point? If these character names are not the pride and joy of some screenwriter somewhere, well, I would not blame them. These are embarrassing. Some. I'm through with standing in line, the clubs will never get in, it's like the bottom of the ninth and I'm never gonna- STRANGER DANGER! Wow, it really sucks that I can't run or scream or flail or re-enter my car right now! Jeez, victims these days are so cooperative, they're practically giving us their blood. Where have all our lesbians gone? Asking the important questions. Th this lady, uh, 2020. Good God. This movie isn't pulling any punches, is it? So the man in the, uh, live to pray custom mohawk friendly bicycle helmet is a new member of the order. And is off on a mission to get the only one who can stop this madness. Which they should specify. Because they don't really make it clear whether it's the general shortage that is the problem or the thirsty lesbians writing the articles. Because there is a huge difference between those two claims. Lemonade? Will there be enough? Oh, there'll be plenty. Okay, anyone. I don't care who it is, offering me lemonade coming straight out of the ocean, I'm extremely suspicious of. Also, has, has Jesus just been hiding under the ocean the whole time? Like, like flipping Cthulhu? Are we accepting of that? Is, is that fact now? I thirst for nothing but justice for the fallen sheep of our flock. Jesus looks so done with this kid's statement. I'm here to build a kingdom, Alvin. My father's kingdom. Huh. Funny, I... I always envisioned it, uh... A bit bigger. Also, you're building your house on sand, and I'm pretty sure you've openly spoken out against that before. Hello, ladies. Do you have a moment to hear about our Lord and Savior that's literally standing right next to me? Gracious! Body of Christ, my body is ready. Alvin, Avelino, go bless the lake quickly. He said quickly! 
all you slow motion fools, are you deaf? I am the shadow and the smoke in your eyes. I am the ghost that hides in the night. You've seen him rise from the dead. You've seen him feed the 5,000. You've seen him walk on water. But did I have to beat your mini super slam on your Mark Harrell, the son of a gun right on muscle beach? Well, I'll give you the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. Sponsored by ETAP. In all my years of living, I never thought these jokes could be relevant to anything. God bless this movie, but I'm sure he already has. Matthew. Mark. Wow, just impressively bad. Okay, the entire New Testament whispered seductively in my ear. That is not how I expected to spend my Saturday night, mind you. Dude. Revelation! Oh God, take it back! A quick reminder, his two best friends are still murdered and laying face down on a public beach. In case anyone forgot, because this Jesus apparently did. We'd love to stand by you. No, really, we would. A chance to stand up right. Say that you're wounded. To that I say fine. If you show me yours, then I'll show you mine. Too soon! <laughs> so Jesus sits through an update of all that's happened since he was gone. Politely, of course, because his knowledge is limitless and filling him in is really a waste of his and everyone's time. He finds out that this minister has lost a large amount of his congregation. This obviously means they turn into vampires. Well, that explanation satisfies my curiosity. You? Hello, hey Zeus. Zeus? No, you must be mistaken. This is Jesus. You don't know us because we've never talked to you before. We are the atheists. Let's get on with the conversions. <sighs> Something to take the edge off. I was not ready for this movie this morning. <laughs> And they don't stop coming 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 Thing Jesus is known for it's beating the crap out of people who disagreed with them, you know. Prince of ripping your squad to pieces, that's what they called him. The atheist got the wushu monks too! Deja vu. I just been this place before. Anyone else wanna be converted? I dare you! I double dog dare you, motherfucker! up for you. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Holy crap, you murdered her. Baptize you. Yeah, I'll baptize you in your own blood. I'm on your side, Rabbi. See? No thanks. Sorry, I'm a little tense. I've got just what you need. I think we should get you some new clothes. Something a little more urban. But I have nothing to hide. Maybe not, but you sure have a lot to show. For those of you at home, you thought you misheard what just happened. You did not mishear that. This movie has less shame than Miley Cyrus at the Music Awards. If you ever thought the world just seemed a little bit empty without a Jesus clothes shopping montage, well, first of all, you're wrong. Here, let me help. Up up. Second, Jesus is physically capable of clothing himself, woman! If I'm not back in five minutes, call the Pope. Okay, you think it's just that simple? Just f call the Pope? But they put new wine into new skins, and both are preserved together. Yes, um, the scripture does 
say that. But what's your point exactly? <laughs> the pseudoscience of religion! <laughs> okay, wait, back up! We're obviously on a different page here! The procedure's simple. And the anti-rejection drugs will leave you in a pleasantly euphoric state! <laughs> Ugh! Flipping scientists! Just all evil and stuff! We're running low on skin. I suggest we harvest another lesbian. And any other suggestions? Anyone? No one? Shoot, I'm down, let's do it! You know what? We're watching this through. This woman exerted far too much energy to be ignored for this performance. Damn it! Why isn't shaking you angrily making you scream less? Hey, you wanna play a game? Sure. Close your eyes. You're it. <laughs> Who is my neighbor? Who are you? You haven't even introduced yourself. Get out of my show. Please help me. Sorry, mate. My compassion ended at 6 p.m. Dude, same. Oh. Oh, baby, look. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the drag queen Samaritan. It's 2017, we've covered all the untouched bases now. There, nothing sacred, nothing. Good night, sweet prince. Just breathe through the nose, out the mouth. I'll be back with your dessert in minutes. Excuse me, I didn't order. Jesus. I promise God, I'll never do drugs again. Just make this movie stop. You need help, Jesus. No, it is you that needs help, strange ice cream apparition. And call your mom. She misses you. Stop it. Get some help. Alright, so God's sending in some help. He literally created the whole universe, so I mean, I trust his judgment will be sound. <laughs> Santo, over here, just one photo. Any truth to the rumors that you're coming out of retirement? Any words for your fans? What do you think about the state of professional wrestling today, El Santo? And El Santos? El Sa Mexican Santa? Who counted past the wall? Make sure you get my good side, or you'll get on my bad side. <laughs> <coughs> I'll throw open my mouth a little. Well, this does not look like saving innocent lesbians from having their flesh harvested. No, but that's, that's none of my business. Put your hands together, raise your hands for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> When did this story of Jesus slaying vampires turn into an Adam Sandler flick? No, oh, I guess we're back. Um, Jesus, there. Ooh, this is typically not how you handle an unresponsive audience. This is there's like there's laws against this. Physician, heal thyself. His words say heal. His eyes say genocide. Time for revelation, my lord. It's a book, not a catchphrase! You rose from the dead, so did they. You promised eternal life, so did they. But they offer so much more power. Well, uh, fight the power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Untie me. Not fast, per se. But definitely furious. I can break these cuffs. Oh, vampires live in the trunks of cars now, do they? The clown mask is a metaphor that all people that do not follow the way are flipping terrifying. It should be burned with fire. Because seriously, screw clowns. Thank you. 
Lloyd. We're here live on location at GNL Auto Wrecking and Recycling, where a pitch battle is taking place between forces of good and evil. Unconfirmed reports indicate that none other than Jesus Christ is involved in a winner-take-all fight to the finish. Oh look! Fox News reporting live on location. But you're in the wrecking yard! On TV live! I'm everywhere. Wow, Jesus, that would have really come in helpful earlier. And on the seventh day, he rested. I am so upset! Well, you know what they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> then he heals the vampire spawny slaughter. Well, um, two of them, the pretty ones, so they could kiss. Yeah, I... I, I don't get it either. So he who slayed the beast, it's all good, it's all right, everybody gets laid tonight. Who approved any of this? That is probably the worst part. I can't tell which side funded this. Like, if you see John Tron's review of Dark Dungeon, that is like a movie specifically made by completely fanatical Christians, and it's so over the top, but that was their intention. This is easily 20 times worse. I don't know if they're supporting him, if they're mocking him. I can't tell. Like, the only good moralistic thing that I got out of this was literally the drag queen Samaritan. Because, like, in the actual Bible story, Samaritans were just hated by all the Jews and they're the least likely people to expect it. And I feel like drag queens, they'd be very similar thing to today, especially for most conservatives. So I'm like, I get that, that was well played. But then they changed the look of Jesus in the first 10 minutes to where you can't recognize him at all. Why would you do that? That is your selling point. That's the only thing you had going for you in this and you changed it, you botched it up. But again, the jokes in this, you're not gonna find anywhere else. There's no other situation where any of these would work. So, there's that. <laughs> Yo everybody, what's happening? If you liked what you saw the show today, please hit the subscribe button down below. Like button only if you liked it. And to all my fellow masochists out there, I will see you <clears throat> next time.